grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with all of you. It seems that the only creature in the universe that can surprise God is the walking dust bowl. The angels can't surprise God, but the childlike, those with the weak wills, poor intellects, we can have great faith. Reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. On that day, a shoot shall sprout from the stump of Jesse, and from his roots a bud shall blossom. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and of strength, a spirit of knowledge and of fear of the Lord, and his delight shall be fear of the Lord. Not by appearances shall he judge, nor by hearsay shall he decide, but he shall judge the poor with justice, and decide aright for the lands afflicted. He shall strike the ruthless with the rod of his mouth, and with the breath of his lips he shall slay the wicked. Justice shall be the band about his waist, and faithfulness a belt upon his hips. Then the she-wolf will be a guest of the lamb, leper shall lie down with the kid. The calf and the young lion shall browse together with the child to guide them. The cow and the bear shall be neighbors. Together they shall rest. The lion shall eat hay like the ox. The baby shall play by the cobra's den and the child lay his hand 
on the adder's lair. There shall be no harm or ruin on all my holy mount, for the earth shall be filled with knowledge of the Lord as water covers the sea. On that day, the root of Jesse set up as a signal for the nations. The Gentiles shall seek out, for his dwelling shall be glorious. The word of the Lord. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. O God, with your judgment, endow the king, and with your justice, the king's son. He shall govern your people with justice, and your afflicted ones with judgment. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. Justice shall flower in his days, a profound peace to the moon be no more. May he rule from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. He shall rescue the poor when he cries out, and the afflicted when he has no one to help him. He shall have pity for the lowly and the poor, the lives of the poor he shall save. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace forever. May his name be blessed forever. As long as the sun his name shall remain. In him shall all the tribes of the earth be blessed. All the nations shall proclaim his happiness. Justice shall flourish in his time, and fullness of peace.
the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. No one knows the Father except the Son, and anyone to whom the Son wishes to reveal the Father. God the Father reveals his Son through the Holy Spirit, and the Son reveals the Father through the Holy Spirit. And we can hear the surprise in Jesus' voice when the Lord rejoices in the Holy Spirit over whom the Father has chosen to reveal Jesus as the Son of God. Remember Jesus told St. Peter, flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, Peter, that I am the Messiah. Father in heaven told you, Peter, that I am the Messiah. You see, God the Father reveals to just a chosen few who Jesus is. That's why Bertrand Russell was one of my favorite philosophers. He's all wet. is not chosen for some reason known only to him. But the Almighty has not chosen to reveal himself to everyone. Only to a few. Only to a chosen few. He's given the gift That's why you Catholics ought to feel blessed by God. Because you or I see Jesus Christ in the bread and the wine that's raised above our altar at this very Mass. Many who are prophets, and kings, philosophers, and other residents of West Brooklyn they would have loved to see Jesus Christ. But they do not. God the Father is revealed to the childlike who his son really is. And Jesus is surprised. So the son wishes to surprise his dad by making known who God the Father is. And so Jesus reveals who his father is to you. And then when you convert someone to Catholicism, those converts will be a surprise to God the Father. The Father will say to them, How did you come to know me? And the convert to Catholicism says, A Catholic from West Brooklyn's Church of St. Mary of the Assumption told me who you are, Almighty God. And I came to believe through the witness of their faith. And then God the Father will rejoice in the Holy Spirit. And God the Father will say, I give you praise, Jesus, Son of Man, for you reveal to the childlike who I am.
pray thank you, Jesus Christ, for allowing our eyes to see his flesh today in the Eucharist, to hear his voice and the pronunciation of the Eucharist at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Pray for all the people that we will make a spiritual communion for. Our fellow Catholics who fail to see the power of the Holy Mass. For those yet to be converted to Catholicism. That because we made a spiritual communion for them today, they receive the same graces of the Shukras that we did. We pray to the Lord. for the sick and the suffering, the lonely and the depressed, those who wish to see God but still can't. We pray to the Lord. Pray for our beloved dead, especially in this month of November. Pray for Mary McCulley. Pray for all who passed since last November 1st. Jerome Love, Mary Helen Lethelman, Lisa Becker, Marcella Bry, Jean Green, Dolores Dillon, Charles D. Dorothy Tobiaski, Richard Carnot, Barbara Howard, Wanda Bresson, Anna Elizabeth Prendergast, Daryl Farrar, Thomas Morrison, and James Jones. All written in our book of remembrance. Eternal rest be unto them, O Lord. May they rest in peace. May their souls and all the souls of the faithful departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. Pray for that special baby that we spiritually adopt. Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I love you very much. I beg you this prayer of the life of James, the unborn baby, that I am spiritually adopted, was in danger of abortion. We pray, Hail Mary, prayer, making reparations for our beloved dead in purgatory. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed are thou, women, blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Heavenly Father, we ask you here to answer all of these prayers to grant them through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through goodness they have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, will become for us the bread of life. So are you, O God, of all creation, for through the goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, will become our spiritual bread.
Be pleased, O Lord, with our humble prayers and offerings. And since we have no merits to plead our own cause, come, we pray, to our rescue with the protection of your mercy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is to be right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed in his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, so fulfilled the design you formed long ago, and opened for us the way to eternal salvation. That when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Christ. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna. In a similar way, when the supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and the eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this. Memory of me. Thank you. 
Call them, Lord, to yourself. Grant that they who are united with your Son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also, brothers and sisters, who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. The Blessed Virgin Mary, and God, Blessed Joseph, your spouse, the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. We may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. And we praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the union of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and form of divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, our heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope of the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on your sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sin of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Just judge will bestow a crown of righteousness on those who eagerly wait his coming. Now, in prayer, spiritual need prayer, especially for our beloved dead, mentioned in our book of remembrance, and for Mary McCauley. May Jesus, I believe that you are present in the blessed sacrament. I love you of all things, desire you my soul, since other people appear to me.
by grace. Amen. Body Christ. 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 Body Christ. No prayer, 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 prayer. So you make mention of 
Lord be with you. Bow your heads. Pray for God's blessing in this new year of grace, 2023. May God, who is the source and the origin of all blessings, grant you grace and pour out in abundance his abundant mercies upon you, keeping you safe from harm throughout the coming year. May God give you integrity in your path of faith, endurance and hope, and perseverance in all your works of charity with holy patience to the very end. Amen. Amen. May God order your days and your deeds in his peace. Grant your prayers in this church and in every place that you pray and pray and lead you happily to eternal life. Amen. Amen. And may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit come down upon you Remain with you forever. Amen. Go in peace. Glorify the Lord by your life. Take my letter of angel. Peace to God. Be on protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke you.